Now, I would think it's safe to say everybody in a world of control line aerobatics knows who Les McDonald is, multiple world champion. But this was an encounter we had at the 2004 World Championships. Les was out there, not as a competitor, I think as a spectator, as I was, and he got to check out my A26. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but Les McDonald rode motorcycles. In fact, he rode RD two strokes at pretty much at the same time I did. And we had, back in the day, we had had many conversations on the phone, some of them about motorcycles, most of them about model planes. But it's funny how years later, you look back at this, and this is quite a, a long time ago, and I remember Les showing up, and I had the A26, at the, it had not been flown at the field because they were conducting the World Championships, but when he saw the model for the first time, somebody grabbed the camera, I think Ken Tyser took this footage, I'm, I'm not sure, but Les, of course, uh, was looking at the plane and critiquing it and uh, whatever. And of course, he's one of the top builder, finishers, flyers of all time. There's no doubt about that in my mind. And I had always, uh, early on, tried to be like he was and try to uh, make my plane shiny and make them fly well. And of course, uh, you know, he, he got a lot further up the ladder than I did, that's for sure. But it's still fun no matter what part of the ladder you're on. Anyway, this was a moment in time. I don't think anybody has ever seen this footage before. Maybe they have. But this was from the 2004 World Championships, Muncie, Indiana. It is a priceless moment for Les and I, frozen in time. I get to pick it up, right? Pick it up. It's carbon fiber. Don't put your finger through it. Well, it's like, but it's got a lot of pointy things here. Yeah. Oh my God, you're waiting for that. Jeez, my stuff wasn't just... You're liable to get a hernia. Oh, man. <laughs> this is great. Here, hold the bag. You're going to be here for the Nats? Uh, unless I'm not allowed to fly it till Sunday. Okay. Get a picture, Les McDonald. Great. <laughs> man, that's a thrill. Where's my wife when I need it? This is, like, really cool, Wendy. What's the hole in the bottom for? Dropping bombs out. <laughs> Is that different or what? Now tell me the truth. Amazing. Is that different? It's like it's a molded thing of some sort. It's molded carbon fiber. Get a picture of, of Wendy and I, please. Okay. Yeah, we got it now. It's the molding stuff. It's the stuff I invented. Let me do this stuff. Hey! All right, don't let it go, baby. All right, you got it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All comes apart into all the hatches to hold the wheel, everything. Full carbon fiber. Oh, that's where it's the whole thing. I'm stunned. Cool, isn't it? I mean, it's just cool. It's like having a Ducati. You have way too much free time. You don't get these by Yamaha. It's a little cool about the Ducati. You have too much free time. It's cornered like that. Why don't you put it back in there? Get it out of there. Anybody else want to take a picture while we're. How about you? You want a picture? Fine. You want to hold it? I've seen it. Okay, I'll see you. That is a whole nother interesting sidebar to the Les and Wendy story. Les had an original FZ Yamaha, and he had sent me pictures many times, told me about the updates he was doing to it, and he piqued my interest in it. And when I got a new bike in 2020, I remember him ranting and raving about how he liked his FZ. He called it fuzzy. And I remember that, and it was one of the things that went into my decision to get my MT-09. Now, it's, it's hard to believe that years later, you remember those things, but I remember Les being a, a good motorcyclist, a good modeler, and I said, that, that's probably pretty good advice. Well, it turned out years later, I did a lot of custom work on mine, made a lot of carbon fiber parts, and it is one of the favorite bikes in my collection. It's on the channel for anybody that's interested in motorcycles as such, but Les is just one of the people among our circle of friends that loves motorcycles, loves models. I'm not sure what else we share in common, but but two out of three ain't bad. That's pretty good. And I know that day he probably remembers it the same way. We, we had a few laughs, a lot of good time. We enjoyed watching the World Championships. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you did enjoy the video and these little stories 
that you may not have heard before? If you did, hit the like button. And thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching our videos.